In front of the camera today, I have two different hand wine watches from Mon. Now, Mon is a brand started in 2017, and years ago, I remember featuring one of their early Kickstarter watches. I was impressed with it, I remember, but a lot of time has passed since then, and it has been really great to revisit the brand and to see how they've improved, to see how they've evolved, and to see how they've expanded. Now, Mon is, it translates uh, with Old Dutch to the word moon. Now, some cultures throughout history have based their calendars on the moon, its phases. Uh, it's definitely played a role in counting the passage of time. So I think it's great that two Dutch founders started this brand and they used the word moon with their own heritage uh, to make the brand name. Now, between these two, I greatly favor this Manhattan 39 Ultra Thin, and that's just my personal bias coming through. I think this looks fantastic. I'm partial to integrated bracelets, highly texturized dials, and interesting elements that stand out from the hosts of micro brands out there and affordable watches that permeate the watch market. Uh, this Ultra Thin 39, I think, has some really positive things about it. Now, this is an upgraded version of Mon's best-selling Manhattan 37. Uh, this one has been thinned out, though. It's 2.4 millimeters thinner than that 37, and it comes in at 6.9 in total height, which is super thin. Uh, definitely earns that name Ultra Thin. And uh, yes, I do think that you could wear this day-to-day in casual or informal situations, especially in some of these very bold, beautiful colors that Mon is offering. But I think this watch is better suited to slightly more formal situations. I'm not necessarily talking about a tux or a suit, but I am talking about a sweater or a button-up shirt or a sport coat. To see this ultra-thin case, this angular case peeking through, being so thin, so comfortable. Yes, this can slide under any cuff, even a fairly tight French cuff. So the reason that Mon is able to get this so thin is the fact that they're using a fully decorated ETA 7001 hand wind movement. Now this has heat blued screws, Cotes de Genève, which will match this dial that we will talk about in a minute. And yes, this does have sunray brushed wheels. I like the full decoration. I like the fact that this caliber is only 2.5 millimeters in total height. And uh, that's, I mean, that's a really nice thing. The caliber has 17 joules. It beats at three hertz and carries roughly 46 hours of power reserve. Now the 7001 first debuted back in 1971. So it really has decades worth of feedback uh, and history within the watch market. It is a simple service by any watchmaker. And I think this inclusion here within the Manhattan 39 Ultra Thin is just a great choice. Uh, the retail price of this is roughly a thousand euros. It's available right now and the shipping will take place at the end of May. Now let's talk about this dial. This has a beautiful vertical Coates de Genève dial. So you'll see the graining, uh, you'll see the ridges of the striping. And depending on the light environment or the angle that you're viewing the watch from, it really looks dynamic. And I think it's a great backdrop for these applied markers. And I step back and I look at the overall design and again, this is heavy with the use of lines and angles. You'll see that in the case. You'll see that in the bezel, in the irregular shaped crystal. You'll see it in these markers and this hand design, the striped dial and the octagonal shaped crown. Uh, it's a mostly brushed watch with some restrained use of polishing. A wrist roll outside a natural light really demonstrates how beautiful this watch is in person. Uh, really grabs some attention. Now this integrated tapering bracelet has screw pin connectors. It has polished chamfered edges. Uh, the links, the short links have rounded tops. And again, that light play is just so satisfying. Uh, really like that. The butterfly style deployant carries the Mon logo. And yes, this is a sequential open enclosure system. Now uh, let's take a pause with this watch 
and go to the other watch, which is slightly smaller in case diameter. It's a little bit thicker. It's more complicated. It is called the Skymaster 38 Mark III, and I have the MCR02 Panda in front of the camera. This one will retail for 1780 euros uh, on this five link bracelet. This does have a different bracelet option available as well as a fitted Tropic style strap. If you go with this on rubber, you're gonna save roughly 100 euros. But this Skymaster 38 has a redesigned case. It has a nicer finish execution and upgraded 100 meters of water resistance with a signed thread down style crown that's nice and large, easy to get traction on, uh, easy to operate. Within the case is a fully decorated Salida, the SW510 MB top grade. Uh, this is a hand wine caliber, and I love the fact that you can view it behind a sapphire display case back. Now, this watch will also have a 12-hour rotating ceramic bezel insert. This goes in both directions. It's a 60-click rotating bezel, and you can use the 12-hour indicator to keep track of a second time zone or I know some watch collectors like to use this as an elapsed hour indicator. Now this watch is on that five link bracelet. This is a very solid and hefty bracelet with solid end links, solid links, screw pin connectors, and a milled push button style sport clasp. The Loom is old radium super luminova, which I know is not everybody's cup of tea. In fact, I'm kind of following that line of thinking. I think it's, Yes, it's just a color, but I'm getting a little bit tired of that aged look. It does glow green in low light conditions. And note that the bezel is unloomed. Now the dial, this will have a orange peel style texture, an off-white color, sunken black registers with concentric snailing. Uh, within those sub registers, you'll see needle hands in white and they have a squared off end tip. Uh, I think that matches nicely with the beveled rhodium plated main handset and then these brushed applied markers that are rectangular in form. Mon and Swiss will be the only text found on the dial. There's not even a date application. So I look at this and it's very visually balanced. It's symmetrical. And I like the fact that it doesn't have a lot of extra text. If there's a criticism I have on this Manhattan 39 Ultra Thin, I think the white dimensional printing and indexing is just a little bit too much. I would prefer to have some of that advertising taken off the dial so I can just enjoy that gorgeous Côte de Genève. Uh, this Skymaster 38 Mark III doesn't suffer from that. Uh, I recognize it's subjective. It's my own opinion, but perhaps some of you agree with me. Now this watch, let's talk about the movement. Let's talk about this Vauju 775X based caliber. It's called the Salida SW510MB. It is top grade. It does have those blued screws, the Geneva striping, the purling. Uh, I, I like the fact that it's a four hertz beat frequency with 23 joules and roughly 63 hours of power reserve. Now, yes, this does have hacking seconds. It does have a Inca block shock protection system and a Nivaflex mainspring. Cam lever when it comes to the actuation of the chronograph and uh, the action is very crisp, it's nice and loud, and it's easy to operate. Now, this watch will be available on fitted Tropic or a Jubilee-style bracelet. There are three different dial options, and then there's four different dials that have a fixed tachymeter bezel as opposed to this bi-directional rotating 12-hour indicator. So a lot of selection when it comes to both the Skymaster 38 and that Manhattan 39 Ultra Thin. I look at this brand and it's just nice to see this brand expand and to improve and to offer these fully decorated Swiss made hand wind movements. I am impressed with the overall quality of both. I am impressed with the finishing and the details. And I look at the price. Um, you know, I think this is one of those brands that nails that ratio, that value ratio that we look for as watch collectors especially when we are considering a micro brand. Now, when it comes to areas for improvement, uh, I mentioned some subjective things throughout the course of the video, but there's one big one that I think a lot of you will agree with, and that's the fact that this is a pre-order type of uh, purchase method for these watches. So right now you can pre-order. Uh, the Manhattan 39 will ship in late May. 
Uh, the Skymaster 38 Mark III will ship in June. And having to wait a few months, it's not the end of the world, but it's not ideal. I think when you've been in business for several years and you're growing and evolving and going to the next level, I think you need to start making your watches immediately available and not doing a pre-order type of purchase method, but that's my own opinion. Uh, when it comes to micro brands, I like a lot of micro brands, and this one is one of the better ones in my subjective opinion. I'm happy to have featured it today here on the channel. Let me know if you have any questions. I will place links to both in the description of this video. Thank you for watching today. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and please subscribe for more content like this. Mm -hmm.